Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline from Ding House Square and today I have a fun yarn themed video for you. So one of the most common questions I get on all my knitting tutorials is what size tapestry needle should I use to weave in my ends? And that is a great question. So when I first started knitting, I really thought there was only one size tapestry needle. It was kind of like the generic size that they sold at my yarn shop and you got knitting kits. And it's a pretty like blunt, large eye tapestry needle. But what size actually is that tapestry needle? So tapestry needles come in a variety of sizes. There's a lot of different brands that sell them and it can be quite confusing, especially when you're purchasing them online. So what I've done today is I've gone out and I've picked up quite a few, a variety of different brands and types of tapestry needles or darning needles that are marketed for yarn. And I'm gonna be showing you the differences between them and which ones work best and which ones don't work quite as well in my opinion. So I've purchased a variety and the variety I have, some of them are from Joann's, some of them are the Clover brand, and then of course I have some of the ones available on Amazon. So that way I can give you my opinion on a huge variety of the ones that you can find both online and in stores. And all these different products will be linked down below. So I'm gonna zoom you in and show you each one of these knitting needles, or tapestry needles, sorry. <laughs> You're probably gonna keep on calling them knitting needles by accident each one of these tapestry needles, and I'm gonna show you how they look with different weights of yarn. Are they easy to thread? Are they not easy to thread? Are they sharp or are they dull? All those different facts to help you pick out the perfect tapestry needle for your project. So let's get started. So first I just wanted to show you all the yarn and supplies I'm gonna be using. So over here for my yarn, I have a sock that needs some fingering weight woven into it. So I figured this would be a good time to try them all out on fingering weight. Here's some worsted weight yarn. So I'm gonna see which of these needle eyes can fit the worsted weight. And then I also have some bulky weight yarn here. For all the actual tapestry needles, first up I have the ones that are actually from the knitting needle aisle at my craft store. So these are the Clover darning needle sets. And this one, it does tell you the different sizes of the tapestry needles. So here it comes with a number 13, a number 17, and a number 20. And tapestry needles work opposite to knitting needles in that the smaller the number, the larger the tapestry needle size. So this biggest one in this package is gonna be the number 13, the medium sized one is gonna be the number 17, and the smallest one is gonna be the number 20. And they come with a little case. This one retails for $4.99. Next up, these are from my local craft store as well. These two were actually in the sewing notions aisle, so more for like sewing machines with the um, like bobbins and pins. First up, I have some of the plastic sewing needles by Dritz. These ones retailed for $2.49. They don't give any sizes on the packaging. If you're looking for the comparable ones here, we see there's, I think that's like the brand number of this one, number 47. But on the back, it says hand sewing knitted pieces together is one of the uses for this one. So worth a try. And then these ones are labeled as yarn darners. These ones retail for $3.99. You get seven in here. And it just says sizes four 18. And on the back, these ones are described as long, heavy needles with large eyes for darning with yarn. Then lastly, I have the Amazon version of all these. So on Amazon, if you just search like yarn tapestry needle, a whole bunch of these multi-packs show up. So I purchased one of those and these are the ones that I always link uh, below the videos too. So they come basically in this little bubble mailer and then in a little tube as well. In here, I believe there's nine and they don't tell you the exact um, size of the tapestry needles, they just show you the various lengths. So I'll sort these out and figure out which weights of yarn can fit in these Amazon needles as well. So now let's try all these knitting needles out with some yarn. So first up, I'm gonna be trying the Clover Darning Needle Set. Again, this one retailed for $4.99. little case. Okay, so here we have the 13, the 17, and then the 20. 
And so this is actually what I picture when I think of a yarn darning or tapestry needle. So this one has a really dull point, large eye. These two have much smaller openings up here and they do have a pointier point down here at the bottom. So like they're sharper than I picture for the average tapestry needle. So first just let me grab a threader so I can try out these smaller sizes here. So the fingering weight yarn on the size 20 definitely works. Size 17, you can thread it without even using a threader, so that's pretty nice. Now this one will probably be too big because <laughs> you don't want to stretch out the stitches when you're using a tapestry needle. Just for fun, I'll try it. Yeah, like see how much that's stretching that out. Okay, so fingering white yarn, I would say works best with this 20 or 17. This one's a little bit too large here. Next up for the worsted weight yarn, you can fit the worsted weight yarn through either the 17 or the 13. And then the bulky weight yarn only fits through the largest size here. So overall with this Clover set, I would say the advantage is that you get three really nice sizes. So the smallest one's gonna work really well for fingering weight or lace weight. Then you have a medium and a larger size. So the medium one works pretty well for like a sport DK worsted. Largest, you can go up to the bulky and above yarns. So it gives you a really nice variety. The downside to this one is that this is actually the most expensive one that I purchased. I'm not sure why, it only came with three needles and then the one case, but you don't really don't need a case for them. You can put them in with like your stitch markers and things. Um, so yeah, that's the downside is the price, but it does give you a really nice size variety in this kit. Next up, I'm gonna be trying these plastic sewing needles. And again, these ones don't have any sort of size written on them anywhere. I'm probably gonna be a little bit biased on this one too because I tend to not like the plastic ones. So they are very nice and flexible. <laughs> not necessarily helpful when you're weaving in ends, but if you like the flexibleness, then these might be for you. So with fingering weight yarn, this will definitely work. It might just stretch out the stitches just a bit So it definitely does work with fingering weight yarn. You just can't be quite as precise with where you get the knitting needle point because the knitting needle point is quite large. And this one should work for worsted weight and the bulky weight as well. Worsted weight, threaded just fine. also worked perfectly well for the bulky weight. So this would be a good cost-effective method because these ones definitely were the cheapest ones that I purchased. Next up, I have the Dritz Yarn Darners. And these ones are in a case that looks just like a regular sewing needle. So let's try the smallest size first. I might need a threader for this. Oh, nope, I could get it without a threader. So this one again, it's a little bit pointier. So this is similar to the smallest. It was the number 20 in the Clover set. So the first thing I'm noticing with these knitting needles is that it is pretty easy to split the yarn just because they are so pointy. So the yarn does split a bit. Okay, so that was the smallest size. Yeah, they're all quite pointy so far. Yep, all pointy. So I wouldn't call these dull tapestry needles here. 
So let me try out the worsted weight yarn and see what fits here. I'm gonna start with the second largest size. Yeah, so that works pretty well. I feel like these needles would actually be better if you were like um, trying to do the yarn ties on a quilt top or something like that, where you needed a sharper point to go through the multiple layers of fabric rather than weaving in ends. Cause this point is gonna split your yarn. So let me show you a comparison. So like these top two here are the ones from the Clover set. So they're either smaller or larger than the one I'm currently using but the one from the Dritz line is a lot pointer, pointier than either of those two are. So these two are, and then of course there's the plastic one next to it, which is much more rounded. And you can get the bulky weight yarn through the largest size here. So overall for these ones, I would say these ones for my personal preference are too pointy to be using to weave in yarn ends. They would be better for something like a quilt top or something like that with yarn ties. So I wouldn't recommend these ones. Now last up are the Amazon ones. So mine didn't come broken, but some people in the reviews say that this little case is broken. I could see how it could easily break in the mail. So there's three sizes in this set three large, three medium, three small. And they don't actually give you exact dimensions for like the circumference similar to this, you know, number 13, number 17, number 12. They just give you the lengths of the different needles. So it doesn't necessarily tell you as much. So the smallest size is what I would use for some fingering weight yarn. So this one I would actually say is too dull to be used on fingering weight yarn. It's just a little bit too difficult to get it back and forth in the tiny little area. Let's try it with some worsted weight. I think the worsted weight will not, probably not fit through the small size. Oh, it does. Okay, so the worsted weight will likely fit through any of these then. And the bulky weight here. So I got the bulky weight to actually fit through any one of these three sizes. Okay, so first just do a little size comparison here. So this is the largest one from the Clover set. And that is almost exactly the same size as the largest size in the Amazon one. So I'd say this one is probably a size 13. And then this one, I'd say the actual needle size is a little bit thinner, but the length is comparable to the size 17 there. And then there really isn't anything that's comparable to the small, smallest size in the Clover set. Now for the plastic one, this one again is pretty comparable to that largest size there. I'd say the diameter is probably a little bit bigger for the plastic one but again, comparable to the largest size in this Amazon set. So overall, I'd say these knitting needles from Amazon are a great option if you're looking for a more cost-effective method to get a lot of sizes, and if you use heavier weights of yarn, because I wouldn't say these are the best for fingering weight yarn, but if you're using DK worsted bulky on up, these ones are gonna be great for that because they are really nice and dull. They aren't gonna split the yarn and they have really nice eye openings and you get different size options. So definitely a good alternative for heavier weight yarns. So my final thoughts on all these knitting needles. So first up, I would say in terms of price, the Amazon one is gonna be your best option, especially if you are using a worsted or heavier weight yarn. You just get so many in here, and if you're like me and constantly losing tapestry needles, then this one's definitely a great option. 
Now, if you're doing a lighter weight yarn, so if you're doing like a lace weight or fingering weight yarn, I would recommend these clover ones. I would say these smaller sizes were really nice. It was a nice combination of needle size and the dullness of the point for the smaller yarn weights. I wouldn't recommend these yarn darners by Dritz. I would say these are too pointy and you're gonna split your yarn. And then I, I just generally don't like the plastic ones. They're just a little bit too rounded at the point and I don't like the way they're all bendy and everything like that. So for me, these aren't my personal preference, but you may like them. So I would give them a try. If they have them at your local yarn shop or you can buy just one for like a dollar or something like that, then I'd give them a try. But yeah, overall, I'd say these two sets are the winners. The downside to the Clover one is definitely the price, pretty pricey, but if you, I'll link it down below on both Amazon or Joann's. And a lot of times on Joann's, you can use the 50% off coupons too. So then that might make this one a little bit more cost-effective. And now the last thing I wanna mention, if you're looking for an actual tapestry needle size, what size would I recommend for different weights of yarn? So I would say if you're using a worsted or heavier, you're gonna want the size 13 tapestry needle, which is the largest size. You could get away with the 17, which is a medium size. Then if you're using fingering weight or a lace weight, a lighter weight yarn, you want somewhere around the size 20 tapestry needle. And that's just those numbers. As you saw, a lot of these don't even label the numbers on the tapestry needle, but that's more for if you're Googling online specific tapestry needles, what sizes do you need? Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. That way you stay up to date on all my future videos. I'll see you next time.